Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mess Graphics here. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to design a flyer. And I'm going to try my best to make this video as detailed as possible because I'm going to be showing you the tips and what you need to know about actually designing any flyer that you have on Photoshop. So without further ado, guys, let's get started and let's start designing. So first of all, you need to just do is to head over to Photoshop. And for this um, tutorial, I'll be using um, Photoshop CC21. Okay, once you open Photoshop, uh, this is the interface you see. As you can see, this is actually the Photoshop 2021 interface. You can see, edit your photos. That's if you have Lightroom. Um, find more in-app tutorials. And then you can also see your recent projects at this point. So what you want to do is just head over to Create New. And then, um, okay, let me just drag this to um, my monitor. And what you want to do at this point is that you want to select the size or the dimension that is actually required for your project. And one thing to consider is that anytime you're actually creating a new product project, your size or your dimension actually um, depends on the medium or the media which you'll be using to share this information or this flyer. So, for example, if you're making a flyer, there are many print options here on Photoshop where you can actually get um, different printing sizes for your design. Why, if you are designing only on social media, I'll actually advise using 2,000 by 2,000 pixels or a square dimension. So let me just um, go to reset. I can see this is the most rampant um, size and dimension that I normally use whenever I'm designing on Photoshop because most of the designs I do on Photoshop are actually social media designs. So I actually make them into square dimensions. 2000 by 2000 pixel size, showing the resolution and an RGB color mode. And with all this selected, I've just head over to create. And now we have our workspace here. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to file and then um, place embedded. And then I'll head over to my file manager and I'll place the, the image that I want to use for my background or um, the image that I'll be using for this project. So let me just um, head down and select this image right here. Okay, so we have this image right here, this red background that has that uh, cinema feel. And the flyer that I'm actually working on, based on the project that I want to use for this tutorial, the flyer I'm actually working on is a movie night um, flyer, but band this by holding out and then um, just dragging it at this point. Okay. And then um, let me just raise this up a little bit. So then what I want to do next is I want to head over to um, filter and um, I'll head over to blur and Gaussian blur. I want to, what I want to do is I just want to blur this um, area a little bit. I think I'm okay with this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my test tool or you can just easily access this by hitting T on your keyboard. Okay, so we now have the test tool right here. And what I want to do is I want to type out the details for the team for this project. And whenever you're designing a flyer, you have to make sure you create more emphasis to items that has more importance than the others. For example, whenever you're designing like a church flyer or any flyer at all, always make sure that your team is bold enough to actually catch the attention of the viewer once the viewer sees it. So the most important thing you have to make, uh, ensure is that your team is very, very visible. So I'm just going to do that right now. So for the team, it will be Hangout. And then for the font I'll be using, I'll be using Bebas. Let me use uh, Bebas Nui. And then um, for the typeface, I'll be using Bold. And then I'll head over to my character panel. And then what I want to do is I want to uncheck this um, italics um, icon right here. And then I'm going to increase the font size. Okay, I think my um, tracking is actually okay, but let me just um, adjust it a little bit. I think let me just set it to minus 40. So for those of you that don't know, actually your tracking is the space in between different letters in a test. So it's actually um, an important um, tool that lets you actually increase the size between the test or just reduce it. So I'm just going to be sticking with minus 40. 
I can do it now. And I think you need to observe whenever you're designing a flyer is that um, you have to make sure that your test arrangement is top notch. You don't just want to put your test flying around here and they have to make sure that everything is actually top notch and well arranged. So let me just do that to show you guys using this case study flyer we have right here. So I'll just go to hit Ctrl J and then I'm going to drag this down. And then I'm going to name this layer um, MVPs. So the theme of the of the movie night is um hang out with the MVP. So that's what I'm just trying to do. And then I'm just going to drag this. Okay, one of the benefits of actually using Photoshop is that it actually shows you guidelines automatically of certain points in your design. So it actually helps you with the alignment and the arrangement. So let me just zoom in. And then I'm going to write. Uh, for the leading, I'm going to be using 40. Okay, let me just adjust it to 45. Okay, and then um, I'm going to align this. Hit Ctrl T, and then I'm going to reduce this. We have the full team here, hang out with our MVPs. So we'll just group this together. Okay, Ctrl D, then Ctrl T, and I'm going to increase this a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be writing out the date for this event. So I'm just going to be using this Sunday. Okay. And for this, I'll be using um autograph. So guys, do us remember that all the fonts, all the images and all the um, files that I'm using for this project can be found in the description below. I'm going to be dropping a link that will lead you to my Dropbox folder where you can actually download all these files. So for this, I'll actually be using a separate color. I think it's okay for now. Then I'm going to hit Control A, and what I want to do is I want to align this test, and then I'm going to um, take the test up. So we have this right here. And then what I want to do is I want to add the time. So let me just zoom in. So for this, I'll be using Bebas. Okay, let me adjust the tracking. So let me just create um, some guides at this point so I can actually be able to uh, make sure my test is aligned. Okay. So for this, let me just use 500 um, for the tracking. And then I'm going to reduce the font size. So let me adjust this type to 15. It's actually a better time for a movie night. So one thing to actually take note of whenever you're designing a flyer or any design um, material is that you have to make sure that images corresponds to the, the message your flyer is trying to pass. And always make sure you use high quality images. And there are many places you can download high quality images from. I think one of the most important ones that I use is um, PNG3, but 
as we all know, PNG three actually has um, a particular restriction of the of images you can download in a day. You can use them um, on Splash. You can use Free Pick, or you can actually buy design bundles from lots of graphic designers out there. Because I know some designers that actually have um that actually have subscriptions on all these paid platforms that you can actually buy bundles from. So it's actually very very good that you always use high quality images for your projects. Okay, so um. We actually have this here. So the next thing I'm going to add in is the featurings of this program, what to expect in this program. So let me do that quickly. So for this, I'll actually be using poppins for my font. Okay, and then for my typeface, I'll be using um medium. Okay, let me head off the character panel. And then for my tracking, I'm going to be using minus 75. And um, okay. And then um actually adjust the leading a little bit. Okay. And just take it to 50. Align this test to the middle, and um, let me just resize it, and then I'll just make it all caps. So for my typeface, I think I'll be sticking with um, semi bold. And then, um, let me just track this up. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And then, um, featuring. So I'm just going to be grouping most of these elements together for easy identification. Okay, so um, the design is already taking shape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this small line right here. So the next um, thing I'm going to be adding is um, the venue for the event. Okay, so I think um, this is okay. Okay, so I actually noticed that I've not added um, the the name of the association that is actually hosting this event. Okay, so let me just uh, finish up with this. Okay, so for this, I'll be using a different typeface because the main information is the Christian Students Association. So this is which chapter just the branch of the Christian Students Association that this program is going to be held on to actually show the difference between the chapter, the, 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 the organization, and then the chapter. So for this, I'm actually going to be using medium. Okay. And then... Um, to be grouping it together, and then I'm going to be reducing it a bit. OK. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these elements in this design. And um, I'm going to group them together. And I'm going to hit Control A. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is aligned properly. So as you can see, I've done that. And what I want to do is I want to reduce this just a little bit. Okay. So another thing I want to do is I want to um, select the team, this team right here, and I want to duplicate it. So pay very close attention to this because there's something I want to do that actually might look confusing if you don't pay attention to it. So let me just um, do that quickly. So for this, I'm actually going to delete the Sunday in this team copy. And then we are just left with Hangout with our MVPs. Okay, let me just merge group. And then I'm going to hit Control T. And then expand this. And um, take it up a little bit. Okay. And then um, what I want to do is I want to reduce the fill to zero. And then head over to blending options. So for the layer side I'm going to be using, what I'm going to be using right now is stroke. Okay, let me just shift this here. Okay, so let me just leave this at four. Or let me actually check how three will look. Mm, okay, let me leave it at three. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to rasterize the layer style. And then I'm going to um, use my eraser, increase my brush size to at least um, 1,500, and I'm going to clear the lower part of this. That's just something just like this. And then um, I'm going to, and then I'm going to reduce the fill okay I think I should just leave it at 10 okay I think this is actually okay and then what I want to do is I want to um, just convert this whole group to a smart object okay so once that is done I'm going to head over to my smart object content by double clicking on this. And then we have our smart object contents right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to image, canvas size, and I'm going to set my canvas size at 8,000 by 8,000. Let me just, as you can see, once we have this here, you hit Ctrl S on your keyboard to actually save this smart object. And then you head back to your original design window, hit Ctrl T, and I'll head over to this WAP icon right here. And for my WAP, I'll be using um, Wave, and then for my Bend, I'll be using 5. Okay, so now we have this. And remember what I said about, um, about using your image to actually explain what your design is talking about. As you can see, anybody that sees this flyer might not actually know what the flyer is all about unless you read the details. But what you want to do as a graphic designer, whenever you're designing a flyer, is actually making people to understand the design just by having a first glance at it. So the way you can actually do this is by using images 
that actually relates what the program is all about to your client or to anybody who picks up the flyer to look at it. What you want to do is that you have to make sure that all your details and all what the flyer is talking about can actually be seen at a glance. That's why we tell most designers to use bold fonts, make sure your fonts are not tiny, use clear images in order to relate with whoever that is reading that flyer. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place in an email that's going to be complementing what this program is talking about. Like I said, always use images that help to explain or give the idea of what the program they are designing for is talking about. So let me just do that quickly. Okay, I think um, this is actually okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer above this, and then I'm going to make a selection of this color right here. Okay. And then what I want to do is I just want to select my brush tool and just um, rub over this area just a little bit. Actually blend this. Okay, let me just um, adjust it. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to um, duplicate this image again. Control J. And then um, I'll hit Control T on my keyboard. And then I'll actually bring this to this point. And then what I want to do is I want to head over to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Okay, I think um this 16.6 pixels is actually okay, but let me actually check how 16 will look. Yeah, I think I'm um, I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this, and then um what I actually want to do is I want to remove this extra. Um, popcorn that is here because it looks kind of weird. So let me just remove it using my pen too. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to um, make selection of this and then okay, and then I'll hit okay. And then I'm going to hit Control I to inverse. And then now we have this right here. But you can actually use your eraser to clean it off, depending on what you're actually using for this project. Okay, so as you can see, this design is already looking nice. I think I'm quite okay with how the design is looking. But I'm just going to be adding um, an additional um feel to this flyer i'm going to be adding some bokeh light effects to actually make this flyer much more beautiful and much more awesome so let me just do that quickly so we have this right here and then what i want to do is i want to take this to the highest i'll take it to the top of all my layers so what I want to do is I want to head over to my blend modes and then for the particular effect that I'll be using for this image, I'll be using um, screen. And as you can see, it creates this um, awesome bokeh effect around the design. And I'm just going to duplicate this once. I think I'm in love with this design because um, I love the feel and I love the effect that the bokeh gives to it and it's looking all nice and all that. 
So this is actually how to create um, a flyer or an event flyer quickly using Photoshop. It's naturally something that you um, actually have to rush into. Like for me, whenever I'm giving a project, I always like to research on the project and know what the project needs to have. So don't just create a flyer without actually understanding what the flyer is talking about. You have to actually make sure you check what the flyer is talking about, make a research on images that will pass the message better, and make sure you download high quality images. Be it a church flyer, be it an event flyer, be it a club flyer, or be it a social media flyer. Always make sure that all the images you are using for your project are high quality. So without further ado, guys, we come to the end of this video. I want to thank everyone who has actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. You guys are amazing. I can actually feel the love from you guys and I actually appreciate you all. So if you are new to my channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to be notified each time I drop a new video. So with that said, I'm done, guys. Mess Graphics out. See you in my next video, guys.